what you just saw was I was making some flower pots to transplant my seedlings in. Um, I was trying to use newspaper first because I had a lot of newspaper. I get like um, coupon ads in the mail every week and I try to reuse them or compost them, but then I thought, hmm, I'm gonna try making flower pots with them. Um, or seedling pots. It didn't work very well. The newspaper got wet and it started shredding. So I used paper bags instead. That worked much better. I have done that before. And this is nice because you can just directly plant them in the ground if you want to, or you can peel it off, uh, whatever works best. I don't know what I'll do yet. I'll cross that bridge when I get there. Um, if you're new here, hello, my name is Rachel. I mostly just talk about my knitting and crafty stuff, but today, um, not just today, it is, spring planting time here in Arizona. Actually, I think in Phoenix, a lot of people are getting ready for their summer gardening, <laughs> but I'm still um, doing my spring planting. Uh, I'll show you my seedlings. They are two weeks old today and they are getting pretty close to being ready to be transplanted. Some of them are ready to be transplanted in the garden, but we're not quite there yet. I'm waiting until the nighttime temperatures are a bit warmer. Uh, looks like we might have a chance of uh, frosty temperatures next week, I think, the week after maybe. Um, but anyways, today what I'm doing is just getting my seedlings out of the little six cell uh, pots and into something bigger. And I will show you that right now, show you what they look like. Here's all the pots we just made. And I've actually been having Pete uh, recycle all his plastic cups. Clearly he goes to McDonald's a lot, but he drinks like coffee and sodas and I don't, so he gets these plastic cups and I asked him to save them for me and we put some holes in the bottom and I've been using these as pots as well. So these are all the seedlings that I'm gonna be transplanting. Um, I don't know what's going on with the tomatoes. Some of them are looking a little rough, but most things are looking really good. They do need to get into something bigger though because we've got some very, very long roots. See that? That's a cucumber. Um, oh, it's a bit chilly out here for them. So I'm gonna get them in pots and then get them back inside under the light. And I'll show you the other ones. So these are all the same age. They're two weeks old today. And then these guys, this is a yellow crookneck squash. And this is a um, something dark star zucchini or something. Um, these are also two weeks old. I started them indoors in the same, they were in the same pots as those other guys that I just showed, but um, they grew so fast. So I transplanted them last weekend, I believe. And then these are a little bit older. These I started in some Grodin blocks, um, but yeah, they're doing really good. You can see they've got good roots and they're totally gonna be ready to go in the garden soon, but this is the garden bed they're gonna go into and it is obviously not ready. I have to go get soil, but that'll happen in, uh, I think like two more weeks. I've got a work trip coming up. I think I'm gonna do it when I get back. We'll see though. I will um, yeah, get these planted out then. So they're still staying inside at night, but they're out. Um, they're outside mostly during the day, but it is a little chilly today. So this is the soil that I used to start all my seedlings in. Um, I got this from a local shop, a little hydro, or a little shop of hydros, little hydro shop, um, here locally. It's a little locally owned hydroponics and garden shop. And yeah, clearly the plants are loving it because the seedlings are huge. So what I'm going to do is I just put some dirt in the bucket, add some water, mix it up, and then I'm going to fill up my pots.
All right, I got the ones that were seeming too big for these little cells transplanted and then I left the rest to keep growing. These ones, I think those pots are way too big, but we'll see what happens. So this is my first time starting seeds indoors. I definitely did not, do not know what I'm doing. Um, I'm just kind of winging it here. And it's really the reason they're like so small, but I'm already um, having them outdoors most of the day is just to get like actual sunlight. Um, it's pretty much pretty close to the same temperature outside as it is inside my house today. It's a little bit colder outside, um, which maybe I should have left them in. I don't know, but I just feel like the air and the sun is better that for them than, um, you know, a heated house and lights. <laughs> Lost my train of thought. Um, so yeah, I've just been bringing them outside just at least for a couple hours just to be in the sun. And then the bigger ones, uh, the zucchini and bigger tomatoes, those are like staying outside almost all day and they're just coming in at night. Um, those, those, so like I said, this is my first time starting seeds indoors. Um, so it was my first time using those little like six cell um, things to start seeds in. And I will say that what I, when I just now, what I just did transplanting them was a pain in the you know what. They're, the seedlings are still so little and fragile and it's hard to get them out of those cells without like disrupting. It's hard to get one out without disrupting all the rest. Um, maybe I could have let them grow a little bit longer in there before transplanting them. I don't really know. I just know that like their roots were hanging out the bottom. So I felt like it was time. Uh, I don't know. Um, at least like the pots that I put them in gave them a little bit more space. So yeah, we'll see what happens. This is all a learning experience. It's all trial and error. Those of you who are really experienced at seed starting, especially indoors, are probably watching this and going like, <laughs> um, but yeah, that's how I learned is by trying and doing it and it's fun and I enjoy it. So yeah, I, um, maybe these will do really well or maybe they will die and I will realize that I shouldn't have transplanted them this young, but um, I don't know, we'll see. I will say that I think it would have been easier to just do some pots that are like like a couple inches. I don't know what are, what are those pots, like three inches that I'm thinking of, those cheap little square pots. Um, start the seeds directly in there and then the plant can just live in there until it's time to go out into the garden. Then that way I'm not having to transplant them to a bigger pot and then transplant them again into the garden when they're ready, you know? It just seems like too much extra work. So we'll see. We'll see how I feel about this and we'll see how they do and maybe I'll do a little update in a few days so we can see who lived. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching and I hope you have a good rest of your day. Bye!